As we get into the bigger features, though, let's take a look at transcribed caption. This is me at the NAB show in April. I was doing a stand-up to introduce a couple of interviews that I was about to do, and I realized that I need to create captions for this. Now I could go back to the manual way of creating a caption or send this video out to a transcription service and have them come back with captions created and import them into Final Cut, both of which work, both of which take forever, and there's got to be a better way. And until this week, there wasn't. But now, there is. If I select this clip, I have a couple of options. I can go to the Enhancement menu up here and say Transcribe to Captions or choose the keyboard shortcut Shift Command C or right mouse click on the clip and say Transcribe to Captions. Well, let's just hide this here and watch this. We'll do Transcribe to Captions. The first time you do this, it uh, downloads the large language model that Apple needs to be able to calculate the captions. Now, this is an important point. All these captions are calculated directly on your system, which means you're not uploading anything to the cloud, you're not risking any privacy loss, anything that needs to be confidential stays confidential because it never leaves your system. This is unlike Premiere, which has to upload the file to the cloud, and unlike any unlike any third-party product where you've got to send the file up to some unknown website for them to be able to process and come back again. I really, really appreciate the privacy-oriented aspect of this feature in Final Cut. If I wanted to change the caption, double-click it, and I can see that I can make changes to it just like any word processor. But notice that this caption format is ITT. ITT is not a bad caption format, but it is not widely supported, and it's definitely not what broadcast or many social media firms want. They want an SRT caption. So the way we're going to convert this is first I go up to Modify, go down to Assign Caption Roles and Edit Roles. By default, there's only one caption role that exists inside Final Cut, and it's not the one that I want. I'm going to create a new caption role here. I could create a what's called SCC or CEA 608, but SRT is the one that you want for almost all situations. So I'm going to create that and click Apply. Then I'll select one caption, any caption, doesn't matter where, type Command A, and as long as one caption is selected, they will all be selected. And now that they're all selected, go up to Modify, Assign Caption Roles, and I'm going to switch the assignation from ITT to SRT. And now, say yes, I'm going to give up any formatting. Now when I double-click a caption, I can see that that's SRT. So it is not enough to create captions. You have to change the caption format. You don't have to. But SRT is going to be much more compatible than ITT is. The other thing you have to understand, and it's critically, critically important, is that the trend in the industry mandated by the FCC is that captions need to be format controlled by the viewer, not by you. So if you want to create something that has a specific look and feel, then you need to make it a title and burn it into your video. If you want it to be a caption, which the user can then turn on or off, you cannot format it because the formatting is overridden by the viewer. So captions are designed for people that have audible audio or visual impairments. They can't see. They need to have the captions be larger, so they'll change the size. Or they can't hear clearly, so they need to be able to read what's going on screen. Which means that the viewer, not you, controls formatting. You can, using Final Cut, burn these captions into the video so that they're then locked and you can do more formatting. But if you're going to do that, create a title. The other thing is uh, the team at uh, Intelligent Assistance has created software called Caption Animator, which will take the captions created inside Final Cut and animate them and burn them into text to create animated titles. Remember, titles are burned in. Captions can be turned on and off. And Intelligent Assistance has got more information about what their software can do. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the new features inside Apple Final Cut Pro 11. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 373. By the way, 
When you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and DaVinci software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.